I knew last year that IndyCar was going to come to an end. And it was at the Festival of Speed last year that um, the PR manager, Dave from uh, McMurtry, said, oh, do you want to come down here and just have a look at our car? And it was like, you know, like everyone calls it a mini Batmobile. And they said, oh, it's fan powered. That's how it gets its downforce. It's electric. And I thought, well, that's, you know, it's cool. Um, maybe I should give it a go. So I was like, let me know if you ever want to, you know, need a driver. So they said, oh, yeah, come and drive it. So I went down to Castle Coombe at the end of last year. And we didn't have the fan system working, so it had hardly any downforce because it's designed, the body is designed to basically have no downforce. The downforce comes from this fan that sucks it down on a skirt. But I knew the power was like outrageous. As I said, from straight line testing in the Force India, where I thought, wow, this was another level. I was like, my God, if you could get downforce on this thing, this can ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I sort of, you know, pulled a, you know, pulled a few strings and got to know them well and ended up being taken on as their sort of test drive. And we've done a lot of testing this year. Um, and the thing excites me a lot because we've done a lot of testing at Silverstone and I think we're going to get pretty close to my Marussia time that I did in qualifying around that. Wow. I think we'll get pretty close by the end of the year with a few little changes. Uh, the thing creates two tons of downforce at standstill with the, when you turn the fan on. So then when you do launches, Jesus. It's like having a Range Rover sat on the roof, just the weight of it, it, it wow. can't create traction because there's so much weight on it. But then it's got a thousand horsepower per tonne and it's electric, so there's no gear changes. And so there's no drops in your acceleration. And because it's electric, it's 100% torque. So the, your acceleration curve is just linear. Yeah. And it just keeps going. It doesn't like go 0 to 60 fairly quick and then sort of slow off. It just goes 0 to 150 like a, a scale electric car. So, so, what, so what's, what's, their, what's their business model then? Is this, to, is this to sell cars to start a championship or is it like a private track day thing? It sort of developed along the way. So, so David Murtry, who's uh, an 82-year-old, uh, very successful businessman, um, he's Irish, he's always had a passion to make a small road car. Now, the best way of making a small road car is make a very... He wanted not just a sort of like Renault Twizy, he wanted something to be fast. So you make a race car and then detune it for the road. So he's had a team of people on this for over five years now, and they're mainly F1 engineers. So they're very smart people straight out from uni, some of them, and they're just... The way they think is so backwards, but amazing. And uh, yeah, this is their first year where we've been getting all the systems working, how they originally designed. And uh, it was going to be make a track car, but now we're going to um, sort of make it a road track car. You can just do both. Um, and if you drive it at like road car speeds, it can do like 300 miles, but you put it on full fan and full power. It does like two or three laps around Silverstone, but that's at like LMP1 speeds. I mean, there's yeah. nothing you can go out and buy for the road. I think mm. the road car lap record got beaten by Johnny C Cocker yesterday in a GT2 RS with a bit of tuning and it did like a two minute six. I mean, we're down sub 140 or you know, 140 and that's oh. going to be a road cast. So when you know, it's smashing it out of the park by like 25 seconds.